Hi folks, you are already familiar with the LT Spice GUI and toolbox. In last couple of episodes, you have become familiar with the construction of basic CMOS circuits such as inverter, NAND, NOR, OR, and AND gate. In this episode, we will construct a CMOS XOR gate using four monolithic P MOSFETs and N MOSFETs, where the P MOSFETs has double the area of the N MOSFETs for mobility balancing. We will apply pulsed waveforms shaped like square waveforms as the two inputs of the constructed. XOR gate. The two square waveforms have different on time and off time to cover all the truth table combinations of the constructed XOR gate. We will apply proper DC biasing voltage and transient analysis to check the functionality and performance of the constructed XOR gate. So stay tuned, stay focused. Hey guys welcome back today we will be constructing a CMOS XOR gate here we will be using four MOSFETs among them two are P MOSFETs and two are N MOSFETs and the P MOSFETs have double the area of the N MOSFET for mobility balancing we will use two pulsed waveform shaped like square waveform with different on time and off time to cover all the truth table input vector combination for the constructed XOR gate so without any further delay let's begin I will double click on the LT Spice icon here so you can see the interface has opened the GUI has opened I will click the new schematic icon so a new dashboard has opened I will go to 5 save as and here I will save the circuit I will name it as CMOS XOR gate I will click save to save the file you can see the name of the saved file is getting displayed here and now we will draw the schematic first we will place the mosfets as components for that i will go to the components i will select the p mos and this is the monolithic mosfets as we are using in a couple of episodes previous to this episode we will use the same monolithic mosfet model here i will place it i will place the first p mos and the second p mos and i will right click to vanish it then again i'll go to the components and i'll click the n mos i'll click place i'll place them just below the p mos and i'll right click to vanish it now i will zoom it out because i have to make the rest of the connections first i will click the components i will have the biasing voltage vdd so that i have to place a voltage click it here and i click here to place the voltage icon right click to vanish it let me do the wearings i'll click here go upwards then rightwards come up to this point come down come up to this point bend left and connect to the substrate the substrate of the mosfets are tied high similarly i'll do the ground connection here i'll come down move rightwards come up to some extra point because i'll place the load resistor here across which we will see the output so i will click up to this point then i right click to vanish it now i will connect the two substrates or tie the two substrates down with the ground line both are connected now and these mosfets will be connected the drain with the vdd line and this source will get connected to the ground line or the vss line you can say I will do the further interconnection. I will connect this to source and drain. Similarly, here, and I will connect the two gates. I come here, come downwards, click here, move rightwards, and these two are connected. Similarly, I will connect these two gates. Now, I will connect this point. I will go upwards, then rightwards, and connect with this particular drain. I right click to vanish it. So, here, I will connect here come up to this point go downwards then right come up to this point click here and connect it from here i will take the output i'll come up to this point come a bit downwards click here right click to vanish it i'll click on the resistor come here i'll place the resistor right click to vanish it then I click the connection where connect this to the ground so our load resistor is placed now we will connect the two inputs here i click 
this is our first input i'll take up to this point come up to this point click right click to vanish it in the same way i'll click here for the another input come up to this point click here come downwards click here right click to vanish now i click here i have to take the voltage component and i click here to place one i click here to place another one i right click to vanish it now these two voltage sources will act as the input vector and they will give all the truth table combination i right click to vanish it i'll save the file here i'll click the ground icon i'll click here right click to vanish it and i'll connect the ground to the ground line i right click to vanish it i'll go to the pin i'll name the first pin as a and I, it will be input type click here and i place it again i'll take the pin icon i will give it the name b and this will be the another input pin and i place it here i right click to vanish it i'll save the file i'll go again here for the pin i'll type here a xor p and the port type will be output click here and then i click here to place the pin right click to vanish it our circuit is constructed i'll save it all the placeholders have been done here in the entire circuit now i have to give the exact values of each of them i'll start with the mosfets i'll right click the mosfet here i will give the value 20 micro and the width will be 200 micro i'll click ok same for the other tmos 20 micro 200 micro click ok for the n mos to make the area half we'll keep the gate length same as 20 micro however we will reduce the width here i will type 100 which is half of the 200 and the unit is micro click ok I right click here it's the same thing 20 micro as the length and width i will give as 100 micro i'll click ok i'll click save all these mosfets are done now i will rename the output load here this will be arc load i click ok and now we will assign the value it will be 100k i'll click ok now this is i'll rename as pdd and i'll give the voltage 5 here click ok now here i will assign the voltage values for the two inputs which will act as the truth table combination with pulsed waveform i'll right click here and i'll move to advanced i'll select pulse now i will give the values one by one zero then five then two micro one femto one femto e on is two micro and t period is four micro and number of cycles will be 10 so let me check once zero five two micro one femto one femto two micro four micro and 10 cycles i'll click ok i'll right click this one and go to advanced and again i'll select the pulse now i will give the values 0 then 5 then 1 micro then 1 micro sorry 1 femto 1 femto then p on is 1 micro if you give this 2 micro and number of cycle is 20 0 5 1 micro 1 femto 1 femto 1 micro 2 micro and 20 cycles so i'll click ok so now our circuit is done i'll click the save button and then i'll go to the view and spice netlist now i will do the scrutinization here you can see two mos are there these are two p mos and they have double the width as compared to its n mos counterpart of the two n mos and we have vdd of 5 volt and we have load resistance here and we have two pulsed input that the models are there which are accessed from the library file here okay and i see the dot trend dot ic is missing which is very essential i'll give them once i close this i'll close this window and i'll click the spice directive i'll type ic and then click ok i'll place it here in the same fashion i'll go ahead and type dot trend i click ok I place it here. I right click on the trend. I give the values. Stop time is 10 micro. 
then data start saving time is zero and maximum time step will be one nano. You can see that dot tran command has already get constructed here and this will be added to the spice deck that we have just seen from the view options or view menu. I'll click OK to modify this strand. I'll click the save icon and now we are all set to go for the simulation. I'll go here click on the run button. I will click here zoom to fit so that this comes a bit bigger. Now here what I'll do I'll click on the input A which is coming like this. I'll hit B from the keyboard so that another pin comes. Then again I'll come to the right side window. I'll click on pin B and the waveform of pin B is shown here. Again I will hit the B from the keyboard so that another pin is added here. Now I will go to the output pin that is A auxor B and here we can see the output. Let me put it as 0. The bottom will be 0. I have modified the axis here so that the 0 is at the bottom. Now I will click the save button. One thing I have to scrutinize I will view and I will check the spice output log. Here you can see there are no errors or warnings. So our simulation has completed and there is no error and warning means we are okay with the simulation. Now I will check the truth table so that to check the functionality of the constructed XOR gate whether it is correct or not. I will bring up my marker pen. So for XOR if both inputs are zero, right, the output will be zero and it is matching. Now, if the first input is zero, second one is one, output will be one and we are getting one. Now, your question is this level and this level are different. Generally, we consider what from three volt to five volt, it is one state and say from one volt to the zero, it is zero state. We assume two levels that means this level is within one and this level is within zero this logic levels are used so whatever we are getting here it is correct so for zero zero it is zero zero one it is one and one zero it is one for one one is zero so up to this point we can see the Truth table of the PMOS XOR gate has been verified with the input test vectors. Those are pulsed waveforms, shaped like square waveforms, and we have all the combinations of the truth table left of this particular line that I have drawn. And right hand side, there are repetitions of this particular combination. So the constructed circuit is behaving as expected as XOR gate. So our design is correct. Now let me clear the screen. Also, we have checked our spice log is error free or warning free. So, our intention of making of an XOR gate has been successfully done by the right hand circuit and is verified with the waveforms on the left hand side. So, we are done here. Thank you very much for watching up to this point and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe in case you have some dislikes. Put that as in words in the comment section down below. And bye for today.